Exactly, yeah. Oh, oh shit, Bird. Bird. Hello, people of planet Earth. I have no joy bringing you this video. This is very irritating, but it does fit perfectly with where my channel is at right now and where it's been the last two years. I know these two carnivores pretty well, and I've been making videos about the U.S. coup. Also, as I'm preparing to make this video, I'm finding more and more drive, the sense of mission to make this video and get this all out, because there's so much material here that should be put out. I'll show you some stuff that Bobby's perspective has been doing, but a person you'll know better if you watch my channel is Bart K. We're going to start with him. I once did a two and a half hour chat debate with him nearly two years ago, February 20. I usually make videos standing up where I can move around and kind of burn off the stress. But at this stage in U.S. history, I am a ball of tension and I might injure myself if I did this video standing up. So I'm laying down because I've had some back spasms. I can still be exercising laying down. Okay, let's see how Bart starts his video. This was yesterday. Long chat with some other person he agrees completely with. Uh, first of all, I wanted to talk about the state of affairs, this great purge that's happening, the fact that the big tech oligarchs and the left of the spectrum in general. I, I think he said left of the spectrum. Keyword left. He'll bring that up again. Uh, and the socialists are basically have. Yes. Socialists. <laughs> this. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil the ending too early in the video, but just keep these things in mind, these key words. Have in effect um, declared war upon us oh, um, yes. by way of... The He's talking about a war that has been declared. He will be discussing the insurgency, whatever you want to call it, attempted coup or storming the U.S. Capitol to try to change the outcome of the election. But that's not the war he's talking about being declared. He's talking about a so-called war on him and his freedom to spout a whole bunch of bullshit on the internet, which he has been doing for the last two and a half years in the diet realm, where he claims to have had extensive education in that area. Now he's going off into other areas like climate change. Of course, he's against that. I knew he would be. That's why I started off our chat two years ago, just casually talking about the weather. I proved to the whole audience watching without him realizing I was doing it, showing he's just a right-wing nut, pro-meat, anti-climate change. And now he's getting into politics and no surprise. Firing shots. Um, and Fire second... Firing shots. Incredible. Now, back in 2016, I thought most of these people, especially the ones that are on the internet, are just playing along to get views. But I'm seeing this in my real life. I know many people that believe all of this crap. This is the most irritating thing going on. We're going to talk a little bit about some fasting and stuff and, and what's going on with that and, and all of that. So that's the program. So sit back, enjoy. Those who have had your head buried somewhere for the last few days, what is happening now is that the big tech platforms are now uh, openly identifying all dissenters to the accepted narrative. Uh, he's uh, it's so also irritating that I don't know how to put in words just what kind of bullshit he's doing here. Of course, that, that's, the, that's the word. See, bullshit doesn't mean lies. Bullshit is a specific area where they're playing around with the, the information. Here, all the, the rhetoric here is just so blatant and so obvious. And he's gonna mention in a couple minutes here, he's gonna talk about people's intelligence. And many people have speculated on his intelligence. We'll get into that later. Um all free speech style channels all people who want to talk about science facts ah. the truth 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 ah. the truth um, oh, with a capital t uh -huh. when you see the weird things that are on the mainstream media like this storming of congress i mean i was watching it live and 
Oh, okay. So here we go. They're now going to comment about the U.S. Congress scene. And to me, it really looked like they just wandered in. They did. They were allowed in, and they were anti-far. Exactly, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit, Bart. Bart, you're not supposed to be that obvious. You are ruining the image you have created as a serious scientist. And the two of them agreeing that the rioters just wandered in after climbing the walls and breaking windows. If you put their politics aside, which I'm not sure of, so let's put it aside. What would be left is these two guys' gross ignorance. They know so little about what happened, and they shouldn't be saying these things on the internet. When this first happened, we didn't have official media video of all the fighting going on in the front lines. Because the media wasn't there. Maybe they just couldn't get in. There's too many people. But we saw the cell phone footage later. They broke in and overpowered the police. And then the police just took off somewhere. Went into hiding, I guess. And then comes to all the footage of people that were able to just wander in. People say, I have lack of intelligence, but I could figure this stuff out. How come senior scientists can't figure this out? Can't realize this himself. I'm sure there was some Antifa people there. I've been saying this for years and years. Infiltration. There's always people who infiltrate, but it's always a minority, of course. If you watch my channel, you know, you can spot a Trump supporter. You can spot them a mile away. They have a look. And people on the left, they have a totally different look. Ashley Babbitt, Babbitt, Freudian slip there. The woman who was shot inside the U.S. Capitol, it appears she was trying to get to Speaker of House Nancy Pelosi, who some were shouting about wanting to kill her. Her name was Ashley Babbitt, and she had a big social media presence. It's all pro-Trump. On her way to the Capitol, she tweeted that there's three million people with her marching to the U.S. Capitol. There wasn't. There was a few thousand. These people came from the Trump speech that happened down Pennsylvania Avenue at the White House. If those were almost all Antifa, then where was Trump's big crowd? He advertised his speech. He said it was going to be wild. Where were they all? That was them all. A few thousand. I know a person in real life who said, oh, I saw a video of Antifa being bussed in. They got off the bus. And out of that bus came three million people. Yes, exactly. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. And then maybe there's a sort of uh, uh, triple agents in there with sort of ex-military pretending to be Antifa. Yeah. You know, we really expected to believe this, that, that a bunch of unarmed, basically unarmed, untrained... Bas basically, meaning there were some arms there. <laughs> See, he just caught himself lying. He said, Un I'm not unarmed. No, they weren't. And then he said, basically unarmed, instead of saying... Partially armed. Basically unarmed. How scientific is that? This jerk, Bart K, is no senior scientist. He was lying. He is just a right-wing jerk. Some of the police did let them in. Some of them could be Trump supporters and with them. And some of them could be could have just let them in to make them feel welcome and so that they may not riot. Or, or do anything and then afterwards there were uh, <laughs> there was all this footage of all this sort of tear gas and fighting and rising and maybe that happened later when they brought different police in maybe 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 it honestly did not appear to be um violent in any way well at first see yeah see probably when they first showed up that was before there was any violence or anything and maybe some of them were just let in but at some point you had people with guns and a crowd chanting that they wanted to hang the vice president. You don't want to let those people in because the vice president was in the building and then things got out of hand. I'm speculating too. I'm still trying to catch up on so much stuff. I have so much news saved on my DVR. I, I just don't know how people can't see it now. I have people saying, no, oh, people can't see what? Who were, were, were murdered there, you know, and, and all of this and terrible violence. and. Yeah. I can't I, yeah. I can't see how people can not see the discrepancies on, on the main... We're seeing discrepancies here. I try and imagine some of my friends and even relatives' mindsets where they're looking at this now with any of the 
any side of what's going on now and, go, and not go, hold on a minute. They brought in those first four coaches of people from China. It was, and then I saw the drivers of the coaches not wearing any PPE or any mask or anything like that. And I thought, if this was serious, the drivers would be in hazmat suits. Everybody would. Everybody would? Unless they're COVID idiots who believe in conspiracy theories or see it as a violation of their freedom or a slippery slope to taking away more freedom, like Freely was talking about. Who is this guy? Is this another carnivore? I'm having some serious doubts about this diet. And of course, of course, it seems these two guys also think the virus is a hoax. Like, every, everything's a hoax, right? That's not a sign of intelligence. It's good to be skeptical. A lot of things are filled with fraudulent information. But when you go this far, it's a sign of stupidity. I, I don't understand. I'm absolutely gobsmacked at how anybody is still taken in by any of it, aren't you? Is he also for herd immunity, like the idiot in chief? Gobs, gobsmacked. So he's foreign too, right? I thought this is this. There's something so. Half the people in the world. I remind myself that if my IQ was as stunningly low as 100, half the people in the world are stupider than I am. Okay, for starters, Bart K seems to be thinking that 100 is the average IQ. They should know better. Maybe when they set up 100 as being the average, maybe that was the average back then, but it has changed. The average is now about 110. But let's move on, move on to more ignorance. People are, at large, absolute fucking morons, Phil. Yes, they are. But here, these lunatics are in opposite land and they have it completely backwards. And you know what? We don't have to just argue back and forth about who is right and who the dumb people are and who's drinking the Kool-Aid. You're drinking the Kool-Aid. No, you're drinking the Kool-Aid. No, you are. We don't have to argue about this. There's a thing called an IQ test. And I've been challenging people to that test and other tests for a year and debates. None of these people will debate me. No one came forward. And none of them will take an IQ test. I've been calling on Trump. To, well, I can't reach Trump, but I've been saying for many months that you will never see Trump take an IQ test or any test that proves him being healthy or smart or stable because the truth would come out in the test. So I was right again. And here I am saying, I am willing to take an IQ test. Let's do it. Jesus. Um, but yeah, we... And Byron, Byron, before you intelligence signal too much, where's your IQ test? To wrap this up, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna zoom out here and show you a notification I got just before starting this video here. There, popular Phil DeFranco put up a video about an hour back saying, how are people this stupid? These people were so stupid I was talking about this in the previous video. They thought they could just do all that. Just go in there, break in through the win breaking windows. These people were chanting in video, hang Mike Pence. And now the FBI is tracking these people all down. The stupidity is at unbelievable levels. And these, there's a lot of these people out there. These two guys and other people in the anti-vegan community, you might be asking, what's the connection with diet and veganism with these anarchists? Well, what I'm saying is there is a connection. These people are projecting that they are for the anarchists and the overthrowing of the U.S. government, taking away our votes. They're projecting it through how they're acting. Not only are they focused on the war against them, which they call censorship, which it's not, they are downplaying the attempted coup, showing that they're not really concerned about that. And they're also distracting from that by talking about everything else, which shows you that they are for it. They're a part of it. And this is just their way of fighting the war through this kind of rhetoric.